Well, what's happening across many industries is that the value that they need to deliver to their customers is really going to be defined more and more by software. And this whole transition is what we're calling digital transformation. And we believe that this digital transformation is going to really introduce this new machine economy, where these machines themselves are becoming more and more software defined, they're able to learn, they're able to complete tasks in an automated way for the end consumer. So with that, there's a need for a new software platform that enables these new products to be built. So we Wind River are focused on delivering an intelligent systems software platform that enables these new next generation products. So if you go back to 1981 when the company was founded, uh, Jerry Fiddler was the, was the founder and founded the company in a garage in Berkeley, of all places. And at that time, he had this vision of there being billions of devices that would be connected. And he saw that as a significant opportunity for Wind River. And I would say that today, we still see that vision. Uh, we're moving to a world where you're going to see over 40 billion connected, intelligent machines over the next couple of years. These machines are going to produce petabytes of data. So what we're doing as a company is building out this intelligent systems software platform that is needed to be able to develop, deploy, operate, and service these new intelligent systems. Wind River's been in business for 40 years, and through that time, survived through innovation. And we've been empowering many safety critical, high availability and high reliability systems for decades. Uh, as part of that innovation, uh, we power many can't-fail systems, such as autonomous systems, uh, drones and delivery, avionics systems and airplanes. We even power the, the Mars Perseverance rover that recently landed on Mars. Touch on confirmed. Perseverance Wind River's technology has been used by many of our customers, including those such as Verizon, who is now building a national 5G network based on our cloud-based technology that exceed the the typical 2G, 3G, 4G use cases. As we embrace these new use cases, they need a fully software-defined infrastructure to host the applications. We also have a customer in Germany, T-Systems, a division of Deutsche Telekom, that's doing similar things at the enterprise edge in industrial factories for augmented reality, as well as automating robot systems and manufacturing infrastructure using edge-based compute. So these are a few examples of how our technology is being used to power these new edge intelligent systems. Our new offering, uh, Wind River Studio, creates the entire environment to solve everything a digital transformation customer needs to provide development, deployment, operations, and services around their new applications, devices, or technology that they're building. Wind River is choosing this approach because it gives us the ability to understand the actual customer problem and offer an end-to-end -end solution for that challenge. One of the challenges in building any type of solution like this is you have a multidisciplinary team. If you think about building a mission critical solution, you have these super cool double E folks that know about electrical engineering that are building the board. You have mechanical engineers that are building um, cases and enclosures. You've got software developers making code on the device in the cloud at the far edge. And really one of the challenges is how do you get this team to collaborate together to build that kind of solution. So if you look at Wind River Studio, it's a cloud-hosted, cloud-native product that allows customers with different skill sets and in different domains to work together to not only design, build, deploy, test, and maintain, but, but also work together and have fun doing it. And I find a lot of people, and I, I've done this in the past as well, jump straight into the code. And it's not about the code. It's about the people, the people that are creating it, how they can be as effective as possible. It's about the processes that enable individuals to work together, to create far more than they could individually in terms of the software that it's really going to go forwards to create this connected autonomous future. And that's where, really where Wind River is heading. Instead of having tools that a single developer can use, Windrow is very much focused on enabling multiple teams to communicate via the software, via the tools, via their products. It's very much more focused on outcomes for our customers' applications.
You know, when I think about some of the hardest problems we have, um, I look at things like um, the Perseverance lander, you know, going to Mars. And that really is a, a big challenge for a number of reasons. It's long lived, you know, it's going into some of the most extreme environments. Um, it's absolutely safety critical and security critical. And so, you know, if you look at the tools that we're building that make it easy for folks to simulate these devices because you can't really send our rover to Mars and test it on Mars, you have to test it in local environments, but we also have simulation environments that help customers test these um, solutions in virtual environments before they're ever deployed. Well, part of our DNA is that we, we thrive on the notion of solving the world's hardest problems. So we will continue to do that. Uh, we are focused on aerospace and defense, industrial, telecommunications, medical, and automotive. Those are our target industries where we know that there is a need for regulated software, certified software that is secure and safe. So we're focused on those markets first and foremost. Second, we're delivering the necessary cloud capabilities, 5G, AI, and machine learning, so we can realize these new intelligence systems in these industries. And then, of course, we're also investing in the expertise, in the practices, engineering practices, to accelerate our customers getting to market. At Wind River, I have the pleasure of leading our teams to create things, to create this almost economy of innovation on all of these different companies, all focused on future robots, drones, autonomous cars, transportation. And my real hope is that the work that my teams do, that I do today, will make a difference, not to the ones and twos that can afford half million dollar vehicles, but literally to everybody out there. You know, it's fascinating. I, I remember when I was a kid, I was really into sci-fi. So I, I read those books to escape to this futuristic world. But I never for a minute thought that I'd experienced this life uh, in my lifetime. But here we are. I mean, technology has moved so quickly with advances in cloud, 5G, AI, machine learning. that's now making these new scenarios a reality. So what you've seen is advances in these technologies, and you're now seeing these technologies being incorporated into these intelligent systems. So it's really exciting now for many companies to think through how do they reinvent themselves to deliver unique value to their customers. This is the big opportunity to deliver new value and drive significant economic growth.